Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and I'm so glad you're joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga and today is our last class focused primarily on the pelvic floor. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a review of everything we've done so far. Um, of course, starting with our breath and relaxing the pelvic floor. Now we're going to do some of the movements that we've done throughout the classes. If something today is unfamiliar to you because you've missed one of the classes um, or um, it didn't quite sink in, feel free to go back to one of those earlier classes so you really can focus on the different aspects. That way you'll get the most benefit. So we'll be starting with the breath, of course, and then we're going to be going into our focuses and our exercises to relax and also engage the pelvic floor in those two ways. We've got the long endurance holds and we've also got the pulses. For the long endurance holds, uh, for that 65% of the pelvic floor muscles which are there to stabilize and support. And then we've got the 35% of the quick pulse muscles, the quick um, flick muscles if you like, which are going to help us in those extra moments when we sneeze, when we cough, things like that, to control bladder and bowel movements. And of course, everything we've been reviewing so far is the pelvic floor is part of the entire course, actually the foundation of the core in our body, which helps us stabilize and feel supported and keeps our balance. So it's a very important one of the postural muscles as well. So it keeps us upright. Um, yeah, so we're going to be seated for half of it, we are going to be coming down to the floor and if you happen to have a yoga block or you can um, roll a towel up, put some elastic bands around the end so it's we get around about the same kind of width as a yoga block, we're going to be using this in between our legs, uh, upper legs as we come down to the earth. So if you have something like that available, perfect, if you do not, don't worry, you can imagine it. It's just there to give you a little bit of feedback in your body. So let's begin. Making sure you've got some space, that your chair is stable and you feel comfortable. Sitting away from the back of your chair, if that's okay, for the support of your body. This way we're already starting to engage the core muscles to hold ourselves up rather than using the back of the chair. Feet at a comfortable distance. Pick up through the toes if you like, pick up through the balls of the feet, spread those toes really nice and wide. Take your awareness all the way down to your feet. And maybe this is the first time today you stretch them out wide. Lay the balls of the feet down if they were lifted. And then keeping those toes flared out, just softly lower them down to the earth. Mm -hmm. Pushing down into the floor, just a gentle pressure starting to build. And as that happens, keep the toes light. We're pushing into the balls and the heels. Um, you'll notice an awakening through the legs and then that will ripple up through the lower abdominals, up through the torso, and we're rooting to rise through the crown of our head. And then allow that pressure to subside. So we go back to the legs just being um, supported on the floor easily, effortlessly. All that does is it wakes up the muscles just a little bit and wakes our awareness up to the muscles that start to engage. With our feet rooted, solidly on the floor. Wiggling from side to side, you'll feel those sitting bones either side of your pelvis, that's the base of, the, oh, not either side of your pelvis, but if you rock to one side and then the other, those bony bits underneath you are the sitting bones, the base of the pelvis. You want to get that as even as possible from left to right, depending on your body. And then with the shoulders stacked more or less over the hips. So a lot of us, we like to sit forward or we sit a little back. 
especially if we're sitting into the back of the chair, we want to balance those shoulders more or less over your hips. That way the bones are doing a whole lot of work and the muscles are doing a whole lot less. Rooting through our feet and our seat. And of course, between those sitting bones are the pelvic floor, coming from the pubic bone in the front and the tailbone at the back. And then the two layers of the pelvic floor actually come um, in between everything. So from there, rooting to rise. We're lifting up through the crown of the head. With the shoulders over hips, roll the shoulders back and down a couple of times until you've got rid of any tension or tightness as best as you can. And then we let the shoulders soften away from the ears. Keep the collarbones wide so we have this openness through our chest. When you're ready, take a big breath in. Keep the shape, exhale, the tension and tightness. Mm -hmm. Another couple like that. Last one. Just letting that go. Nice. And then from here, feel free to close your eyes, lower your gaze, or soften your gaze. And we start to check in with ourselves. Noticing how you're feeling in this moment. Noticing if there's particular things on your mind, welcome it all in. Try not to resist anything, just being open to what's there today. Notice how your body is feeling in this moment. Maybe take your awareness down to the soles of your feet and draw your awareness up through your body bit by bit, noticing different areas, different sensations, all the way up to the crown of your head. And noticing if in paying attention to the sensations in the body, you also notice the ease, the quiet. And now we're going to take our awareness down from the crown of our head to our feet, nice and slowly, this time noticing the ease, the comfort, the areas in your body that feel strong, all the way down to the soles of your feet. You might notice your energy levels today. And notice how you notice that. So how are you aware? of your energy levels. Maybe you feel like a humming or a buzzing in your body. Maybe you have an intuitive knowing that you're this, you're feeling this or that in your awareness. Or is it from stories that you're telling yourself? I must feel tired because I didn't have a good night's sleep. Try and stay away from the stories and just focus on sensation and knowing. With the eyes soft, lowered or closed, start to pay attention to your breath as it comes in and out. And we're looking for curiosity here. We're never judging ourselves, never comparing ourselves. It's going to feel very different every day that we do this. And starting to breathe in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. And if it's not an easy breath that suits you today, starting to deepen and lengthen the breath in your own way. Steadying that breath out as best as you can. So smoothing the inhale to the top of the inhale, steadying the exhale all the way down. Once you've got this smoother breath coming in and out, 
letting go of any tension that may have accumulated in the breath or the body, even if that means the breath gets a little smaller. And then start to notice the breath and the body moving together. The inhale, the expansion of your torso, and the exhale, the softening, the contraction. Imagine that like a balloon in your torso. On the inhale, everything inflates just a little. On the exhale, everything deflates. Not only in the front of your body, but the sides and the back of your body. And then notice that at the top of your shoulders too, the inhale, the rising of the shoulders just a little, the exhale, the lowering. And then we take that down to the pelvic floor awareness between those sit bones and your pubic bone and the base of your spine, that um, tailbone there. And then as that balloon breath expands and contracts, the same thing in the pelvic floor. On the inhale, as the diaphragm pushes down, the pelvic floor lowers. And on the exhale, the diaphragm lifts, the pelvic floor lifts. And so imagining, if you like, that pelvic floor like a rose, it's in a bud. And then on the inhale, that rose blooms to full bloom as the pelvic floor lowers. And then on that exhale, those petals all curl back into a bud. So you can imagine that if you like. Imagine it like a balloon, a rose, or however it's best for you. Focusing on that pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. and so this is the breath we come back to. This is the awareness we come back to when we want the pelvic floor to be relaxed and easy. Mm -hmm. And at any time you can come back to that breath. And when I ask the pelvic floor to be relaxed. This is the breath, this is the awareness we come back to. From here, we're gonna go into our long endurance holds and our quick pulses. So keeping the eyes soft, lowered or closed is a great way of going inwards. And then when you're ready, take an inhale. On an exhale, the pelvic floor is coming together and up and we're holding back middle and front four ten keep breathing nine eight seven six stay connected to the breath five four three two one and release take a breath in Exhale it out. Pelvic floor comes together and up for 10. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, keep connected. Back, middle, front. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Big breath in. Exhale, pelvic floor comes together and up, back, middle, and front for 10. Nine, relax tension anywhere else in your body. Eight, seven, the breath is steady. Six, keep it engaged. Five, four, almost there. Three, breath is steady. Two, and one, release. Take a few of those. Big breaths, those balloon breaths. Pelvic floor is relaxed. And now we're gonna do the same thing, only we're gonna engage and then pulse. So when you're ready, take a breath in. 
on the exhale, pelvic floor is coming together and up, back, middle, front, and we're pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Big breath in. Exhale, pelvic floor comes together and up, and we're pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, relax. If you're noticing that you're tensing a particular part of your body, like your legs, your jaw, your hands, your shoulders, try and release that and just keep pulsing and engaging the pelvic floor. Big breath in, exhale it out. Big breath in. On an exhale, pelvic floor comes together and up, back, middle, front, and we're pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Take a big breath in, exhale through the mouth. Mm -hmm. Come back to that breath, the pelvic floor moving in harmony with the diaphragm. I'm going to root down through our feet and our seat to rise up from there, Re readjusting your posture. Breath is nice and steady. Just focusing on the inhale and the exhale now. Just my steady breath in and out. The very tip of your nose, we're going to create figure of eights in front of us in the air. Allow those figure of eights to stay nice and small or maybe they get bigger. Allow the breath to guide you. So that steady breath that we focused on in the beginning is creating the steady movement. Notice how this feels in your neck. And then at the end of the exhale, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Allowing the movement to stay nice and small or increase to bigger figure of eights. And then at the exhale, we're gonna come back to center when you're ready. Right arm is dropping down with the head of the arm bone, figure of eights with the right shoulder. And you might notice that one movement within the figure of eight is a little more challenging or a little easier. Notice all of it, don't only focus on the things that feel a little more challenging to you. Figure of eights, allow the arm to come with you and then we'll pause when you're ready and take those figure of eights around in the opposite direction. And that'll feel a little less smooth. Next exhale, let's pause and take that right hand back to support. Left arm dangles now. Broad through the collarbones and then figure of eight through the right shoulder, whichever direction suits you. There's no way to do this wrong. Always making adjustments for your body listening to what your body needs. If you need to rest or those movements need to be smaller, let's pause on the next breath and take that round in the opposite direction. Smooth it out. Pausing. And then we're going to bend those elbows. Take the elbows in towards your ribs, soft fists here. Rooting to rise. The breath is steady, coming and going as smooth as you can allow it to be. And then we're going to take that right elbow back, up, forward, and across the body. Right shoulder comes forward, left shoulder comes back as the left elbow comes back, up, and over. So if we linked our fingers here, our elbows would be creating kind of like a figure eight. Keeping the head upright as best as you can, 
or the option is here to exaggerate the movement and we curl over, we've got a rounding through the spine, the chin can come in towards the chest and we're opening up the whole of the back body here. And if that feels too much, then spine is neutral and you're moving through the shoulders and that of course is moving a whole lot of muscles and fascia as well, but it's not quite as big a movement as that curl over, suiting your body. Mm -hmm. We'll take two more either side, keep the breath steady and smooth, notice how you feel this in your body. And when you're done with an exhale, I'm going to take the spine back to neutral. If it wasn't already, the elbows drawn in, soft fists here. We're going in the opposite direction. So that right elbow is coming up, back and down this time. Same with the left. Keeping the spine as neutral as possible. Those movements can be small. Don't be surprised if it's very different one side to another. It's like the elbows are leading here. And the option is to lift up through the heart. So now we've got an extension through the spine, chin can lift a little, and we're opening up this time through the front of the body. The pectoral muscles under the armpits, through the ribs, and through that long plane of the front body. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow. Notice the places that are easeful, not only the challenge. Keep the breath as smooth as possible. Let's take two more either side. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, we'll come all the way back to center. Any intuitive movements that feel good to you, go ahead. Rooting to rise, steady the breath. See if you can come back to that balloon breath and notice the pelvic floor moving with the diaphragm. As the air comes in, the diaphragm pushes down, the pelvic floor lowers with the diaphragm. And on that exhale, as the air pushes out, the diaphragm and the pelvic floor lift. Rooting to rise. On the inhale, keeping the hands down on your legs or the arms of your chair, I'm going to drag the heels back as we open up through the heart space, shoulder blades coming towards each other. On that exhale, sending the fingertips down and forward towards the knees as we round. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. moving from one to another. On the inhale, you can lift the chin, but length through the back of the neck, so it's not just compressing. On the exhale, rolling and rounding. Chin comes down, getting into the cervical spine. Waking up through the legs here. On the inhale, imagine dragging the heels back towards the legs of your chair. On the exhale, pushing the feet down to round through the lower back a little more and get the legs involved as well. We can stay here if you want to add on with the arms. On that inhale, right arm comes up and we reach. Exhale, fingertips towards or on the knee. Inhaling, extension, exhaling down. Mm -hmm. Keeping that flowing. As you reach with those fingertips, find that length through the side of your body. As the fingertips lift, the same hip roots down. Let's take two more either side. Getting that movement through the spine. The hands are, of course, just exaggerating that movement for us. And when you come to your last breath, we'll come all the way back to center. Rolling through the shoulders, any intuitive movement to release tension, please do. From here, we're going to take our hands behind the skull. Sit the palms back, um, sit the head back into the palms. 
rooting to rise. Broadening the elbows only as much as it feels okay in the shoulders, and that may be different for all of us. So imagine that wall behind you that you're kind of sitting back into as if your hands were a hammock. Rooting to rise. Steady the breath. This is the inhale on the exhale. We're tipping to one side. Inhaling up through center. Exhaling to the other side. So we're not only getting flexion and extension um, with the lateral part of the spine here, but we're also getting the core involved. As the shoulders, the upper body comes out of balance, our core is having to work pretty hard to just keep us here. It's not a very big movement. Shoulders are over the hips, so we're not coming forward here. That head is really sat back into the palms of the hands. And if you feel, as you're coming to one side, the opposite hip is getting a little lighter, keep it rooted down even if that means that the movement is a little smaller. Our tendency is to kind of allow that hip to lift a little, and then we're getting the pelvis involved rather than keeping the movement isolated through the spine. Let's take another two here. And then when you come up through center, We'll release those arms and then just roll one shoulder back and then the other and then we'll go forward in space here. Coming back to center. Nice big breath in. Exhale it out nice and steady and see if you can come back to that whole body breath, the pelvic floor moving in harmony with the diaphragm there. Nicely done. From here, we're gonna take those feet out a little wider. Ankles more or less under your knees, and now we've got external rotation. Don't be surprised if one side is very different from another. Making sure you feel supported here, so if you're on the edge of your chair and you don't feel stable, come back in um, a little bit back into the chair. Making sure that the ankles aren't in or out, they are more or less under the knees, facing in the toes, facing in the same direction as your kneecaps. Ish, depending on what feels right for you. And we are rooting to rise. Now with that external rotation, sit bones have narrowed. So come back to that full body breath here. We're going to practice what we did last week, which is the elevator doors in the pelvic floor. So we're going to be drawing the elevator doors or the pelvic floor in and up towards the ground floor if we were in the basement. We're going to hold there, we're going to lift to the first floor, second floor, coming down to the first floor, ground floor, basement, and opening those elevator doors. So remember the pelvic floor is back, middle, and front. So the urethra at the front, the perineum in the middle, which is right between your sitting bones, and then your um, anal sphincter at the back. When you're ready, big beautiful breaths. And on the next exhale, drawing those elevator doors from the basement together and up, back, middle, front, and we're holding and we're breathing. And then we're going to take the elevator up to the first floor. So it's a little bit more engagement. Keep the breath going. And then we're going to take that up to the second floor. Back, middle, front. Don't be surprised if it's starting to feel challenging here. Now here's the eccentric movement, so it's challenging. Let's take that from the second floor down to the first floor. Back, middle, front. Keep breath. Let's take it down to the ground floor, back, middle, front, still engaged. Keep the breath coming. And then we're going to lower that down to the basement and open the elevator doors out. We're going to do that again. Big breath in. Elevator doors coming together and up to the basement, from the basement to the first floor. Breathe. Breathing is essential here. Let's take it up to the first floor, back, middle, front. Don't be surprised if one is a little easier than the other. 
Let's take it up to the second floor. So it's full engagement. And then when you're ready, taking it down to the first floor. Keep the breath coming. Down to the ground floor. Don't be surprised if that's challenging. And then down to the basement, open the elevator doors out. Nice. We're gonna do that one more time. Big breath in. Exhale, pelvic floors coming together and up to the ground floor, back, middle, front. And then we're breathing, taking that up to the first floor. Keeping that engagement as best as you can. And then we're gonna take that breathing up to the second floor. Keep that engagement, back, middle, front. Don't be surprised if one is more challenging than the other. And let's take that down to the first floor. If any tension in the rest of your body is um, getting really tight, let it go. The pelvic floor is engaged. Let's take that down to the ground floor. Keep the breath connected. And then down to the basement, open the elevator doors out. I'm going to take those fingertips down to the thighs, breathing whole torso breaths here. Inhaling, that rose is opening. On the exhale, the rose comes into a bud. So the pelvic floor is moving in time to the breath with the diaphragm. From here, fingertips to the inside of the legs. I'm going to roll through the ribs here. Inhaling and exhaling, noticing how that feels. And when you're ready, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction, moving through the spine. Yes, but we're also moving through the pelvis here. We're engaging everything from those core muscles, so the hips, the pelvic floor, the core, the diaphragm, of course, is the roof. Let's come back to center. Mm -hmm. Rooting to rise. Left hand is on at the left thigh. If you need to readjust your legs, please go ahead and do that. We're going to turn that right palm out, bending at the elbow. From the inhale, we're going to take those fingertips up. Exhale, palm down. Any angle that suits you in your body, where again, our bones are all different, what feels best for one person is gonna feel very different from another. Option to stay there, option to start to move from the shoulder. So a wide sweeping movement here. Keep the joints nice and easy. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay there with that left hand for support. We can come up and over. And of course, our core muscles have to do a whole lot more here. Shoulders are over hips. And notice if that feels really good, that left hand for support here. Otherwise, hover the hand or lower the hand. So the core is having to do more work so you're not supporting yourself and if that feels too challenging take the hand back fully for that support option to keep pulsing option to reach and stay hand can reach or it can stay behind the head we've already been here today if that left hand is not supporting you on the left thigh hands can come behind the head or as if you're holding a beach ball, make sure you're drawn back in space and we've got some breaths here. Keep connected to the breath, however it is that you've chosen to be. Keep that right hip rooted down and you can do that by rooting into the left foot and shifting your weight a little to the right, opening up through the right rib cage. And then we'll stay for one more breath. Stay for the exhale, inhaling all the way up. And wherever your hands are, we're taking them down. Rolling through the shoulders. Right hand comes to support, left arm out. From the elbow, fingertips lift on the inhale, exhaling down, palm down. Keep the movement as smooth as the breath is. Option to stay there, option to start to move from the shoulder, easy joints. 
The arm is simply following the breath here. You can stay there or using that right hand for support. Maybe the left fingertips come up and over, keeping the shoulders over the hips. So we're not sliding forward, head over heart, over hips here. And the option is to keep that right hand supporting you on the right leg or the arm of your chair. Option, if you do not need that, to keep that, those right fingers reaching down. And the great thing is that there are so many bus stops along the way. Keep pulsing or we reach with that left hand and stay. Drawing the shoulders again back over the hips. Hands can reach or come behind the skull. Elbow opening, and that option is to keep that right hand engaged too. Either as if you're holding a beach ball or behind the skull, opening up through the elbows, and we're here for three breaths. Root down through the right foot to send the left hip down, getting that opening through the left side of the body. Let's stay for one more breath here. And then on the inhale, we're coming all the way up, releasing the hands rolling through the shoulders. Let's keep that external rotation just for a little longer. Hand on the right knee, maybe pick up the toes or the ball of the foot. This is the inhale on the exhale. We've got that internal rotation. Left leg and your torso is completely still and stable, so the isolation comes through the hip here. Notice the ease. Also notice the challenge. That's where our mind normally goes. If you're finding any discomfort here, back away, do less in the movement. We're never pushing past the breath on that inhale or exhale. Maybe the hand guides you, maybe you don't need that. Let's take another two. Lubricating that hip, getting into the abductors and the adductors here. After that last exhale, we're coming back to center. Taking the right foot down, if you need to adjust yourself, go ahead and hand towards or on that left leg. Toes can lift, ball of the foot can lift. Inhaling wide, exhaling internal rotation. Mm -hmm. Nice and smooth with the breath, smooth with the movement as best as you can. Mm -hmm. Let's take another two, keep the breath flowing, the movement flowing with the breath. This is the last inhale, exhale it down, and then we're coming all the way up, releasing the foot. And then we're going to take those legs back in towards each other and rock and roll side to side a little, outer and inner edge of the feet. Beautifully done. Coming back to center, big breath in. Exhale it out. Another big breath in. Exhaling out. Whole torso breaths here. And now I'm going to add in a little seated to standing movement. If this is not for you, then you can come down to the floor and I'll meet you there. Just fast forward through it the next little bit. Otherwise, we're gonna be using those pelvic floor lifts to bring us to standing and use them to come down. So this is something a lot of us do many, many times a day, sit to stand, stand to sit. And if we can use that pelvic floor and engage it, then we're um, taking our pelvic floor movements into functional movement, which is where we want them. So um, I'm just gonna get sorted. If you're coming with me, stay seated. And then we're gonna be doing seated to standing just for a few breaths. So seated to standing and standing to seated. Making sure that you're comfy on your chair. And we're gonna bring the feet back towards the chair here so you can see my shins are at an angle. I'm gonna come back to that breath. That steady breath in and out. 
Now, all, we're going to be using the exhale to, in, um, to draw in and up the pelvic floor as we lift. We're going to be using the pelvic floor to lift ourselves up. And then we're going to be doing the same thing when we're coming down. So, steady the breath. And I'm going to show you and then we'll do it together. So inhale, exhale, we'll be drawing the pelvic floor together and up like that elevator and lifting up. When we're up, we're going to release the pelvic floor and you can give yourself a little bit of a shake if you like. So we're going to review that. Coming with the heels back towards the chair, so our shins are at an angle, so they're not how we normally sit, which is um, ankles and your knees. From here, take a breath in. On an exhale, we're going to be drawing the pelvic floor together and up and lifting. And then exhale it out, releasing the pelvic floor. And you can give yourself a little bit of a shake if you like. And we're going to be doing the same thing as we come down. So, inhaling, exhaling, drawing the pelvic floor in and up and coming down and releasing and letting go. So we're going to be doing that again. So from standing up, big breath in, exhale together and up, and we're going to be doing that to come down. So the exhale is on the exertion here, always. So when you're ready, we're going to be going from sitting to standing, standing to sitting five times, okay? This is also increasing the strength through your quads, through your um, hip flexors. These are called the, um, oh my God. As we're doing this, this is all not only um, strengthening our pelvic floor and our core, but we're of course getting um, a strength through the quads, through the hip flexors. These, all this um, is so important to our independence because once this, um, if we keep this strong, then we can get up and down, go to the washroom by ourselves, all the rest of it, it's so important. So um, really important for our whole overall wellness. So keeping the breath steady, got that whole torso breath. Take a breath in. On an exhale, pelvic floor draws together and up, leave the, with the pelvic floor as we come up and release. Take a breath in. On an exhale, the pelvic floor draws in and up as we come down and release. Breath in, pelvic floor draws together and up. Use that to lift and release the pelvic floor here. Big breath in. Exhaling together and up as we come down and release. We're going to do that three more times. Breath in, pelvic floor draws together and up as we lift and release the pelvic floor at the top. Big breath in, exhale, engaging the pelvic floor, coming down and release. Two more times, big breath in, exhale, pelvic floor drawing together and helping you come up and release the pelvic floor at the top. We take a breath in, on the exhale, pelvic floor draws in and together as we come down and release. Breath in, last one, exhale, pelvic floor draws together and up as we lift and release the pelvic floor when you're ready, big breath in. Exhale, pelvic floor doors in and up as we take ourselves down and release. Beautifully done. Now take a couple of breaths, just that whole torso breath, the pelvic floor moving with the diaphragm. Stay for the last exhale. 
And then when you're ready, we're gonna come down to the floor, making sure you have that block handy if you, or a roll of towel for when we come down and I will meet you there. Here we are, down on the floor. Let's take it all the way to our back, making sure you have that block handy. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. We're gonna take that block or roll towel between the upper legs. And we're just holding on about 5%. Making sure that the, um, there's length through the torso so you can pick your pelvis up, send those sit bones and the pelvis a little bit closer to your heels as you replace it down on the floor. And from here, big breath in, exhale it out, let the body weight really sink into the floor here. And we're going to be engaging the pelvic floor and the core. So keeping that breath steady, take a nice breath in. And then on an exhale, pushing in to the floor and lifting up through the hips, either hovering or lifting a little bit. And let's stay here for two breaths. Only about 5% on that block. And then on the next exhale, we're gonna take it all the way down and release the pelvic floor. So as we come up, there's a whole lot that's moving here. Our hips have to move. Um, our core is engaging to hold ourselves up. The core, of course, is part of the pelvic floor. So we're gonna be doing that two more times. Keep that 5% on the um, block or your towel. And we're coming up and we're holding and we're breathing. We want everything to still be flowing with the breath as we're coming up. So keeping the core engaged, but keeping that breath going. So big breath in. On the exhale, as the pelvic floor gen gently draws in and up, we're taking the hips up, either hovering them or lifting, doesn't matter how high, but we want the breath to be flowing here. If you've got other tension in different places, like your face, then try and keep that softer, 5% only on that block. And then on the last breath, we're going to take the hips down, release, and release through the pelvic floor. Pelvic floor moving in time to the diaphragm. One more breath. Big breath in. On the exhale, the pelvic floor is drawing in and up, and we're lifting, but keep the breath going. Whole torso breaths here. And on that next exhale, and you're taking the hips all the way down and releasing, taking that block out. From here, we're gonna take the hands down either side of our hips. We're gonna be keeping engaging through the core here. And we're gonna be doing um, quick, um, we're gonna be taking those long endurance holds, but only to five, and then we're gonna be doing pulses when we're up. Keep the breath flowing. When you're ready on an exhale, we're gonna be lifting up through the hips and holding. Keep the breath flowing here. And then when you're ready, take a breath in. On the exhale, you're gonna be drawing the pelvic floor together and in, back, middle, and front. And we're gonna be holding for five, keep the breath going, four, Three, keep it holding, back, middle, and front on the pelvic floor. Two, and one, we're gonna be taking the hips all the way down. Keep the knees in, ankles apart, and um, release the pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. Knees above the ankles, big breath in. On the exhale, pushing down, through the feet to lift the hips a little or a lot. And we're going to be taking a breath, 
On the exhale, drawing the pelvic floor in and up. And this time we are pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Keep the hips lifted. We're going to do that one more time. Big breath in. Exhale, drawing the pelvic floor in and up. Pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. And on that exhale, taking the hips down and washing the knees side to side. You can take those feet a little wider if you like. Mm -hmm. Coming back to center, making sure that the breath is moving through the pelvic floor, through the whole body. And we're doing another exercise that we were doing a little um, earlier in the series, coming back to bridge pose. So feet are around about hip distance apart. Hands resting down by the hips. You can roll one shoulder blade under and then the other if that feels good to you and the breath is steady. So on an inhale, I'm gonna show you first and then we'll do it together. So hips are down. When you're ready, we're gonna be lifting up through the hips on an inhale. On an exhale, we're gonna be rolling to the outside edge of our feet as the knees widen, keeping the hips lifted, same level here. Inhaling back to center and exhaling the pelvis down. So now we're really getting the hips engaged and keeping that core engaged as well. So when you're ready, big breath in, let it go. Inhale, push through the feet, lift the hips, keep the hips lifted. On an exhale, we're taking the knees out wide, keeping the hips at the same height. Inhaling, knees together, and exhaling, hips down. When you're ready, breath in and out. Lifting the hips on the inhale, keep them lifted. Exhale, taking the knees wide. Inhale, knees come back to center. Exhale, hips down. Let's go straight into the next one. Inhale, lifting the hips up. Exhale, taking the knees wide. Inhale, knees come together. Exhale, hips come down. Two more. Inhale, hips lift. Exhale, knees wide, out the edges of the feet. Inhale, knees together. Exhale, hips down. Let's take that one more time. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, knees wide. Inhale, knees together. Exhale, hips down. Beautiful job. Let's take the feet a little wider. Wash those knees a little side to side to get any tension in the outer hips released. And then from here, hands resting on the torso somehow, elbows resting on the floor, and you're breathing, whole body breaths here, making sure that pelvic floor is released. Nicely done. We're gonna be engaging a little bit into the core here. So, feet come in, and from here, Knees and feet come, uh, knees bent, feet off the floor. So we're gonna be taking those knees more or less over your hips, ankles, knee height. Taking your hands behind the head if it's comfortable for you. We've already been here together, making sure that the head is sitting comfortably into the um, cuff of the hands. If this is challenging for you please take the knees a little closer in towards your chest and you're drawing the belly button down towards the earth as if it could um, draw down into the earth itself so we've got a slight round in the back here and from here to engage the core we're just circling with the feet so the inhale the toes draw up towards the ceiling on the exhale we're going to take them round and down Whichever direction you're going in, nice and slow. Keep the knees and ankles in towards each other. If you want to challenge yourself, send the knees just a centimeter away from you and that's gonna make it a whole um, bit different 
And if it's, you need less challenge, then take the knees a little closer in towards you. Keep those circles as big or as small as feel good to you. And then at the end of the next exhale, we're gonna pause at the bottom and take those circles round in the opposite direction. Try not to speed up the circles through any particular area. Keep them nice and soft. Keep the breath flowing. And of course, this is getting into all the core. Mm -hmm. Let's take another three. Always resting if you need to. And then at the end of that exhale, I'm gonna be drawing the knees in towards you, giving yourself a little hug here. Hands on your knees, you can interlace the hands. With that nice compression through the belly, take those full body breaths here, full balloon breaths. With the compression in the belly, the pelvic floor um, may be a little more available in your awareness. Inhaling and exhaling, making sure that pelvic floor is soft and moving with the breath. Mm -hmm. Excellent place to be, or take the knees nice and wide if you want to. You can take a hand to each knee. Stay here, opening up through the groin. Or, happy baby here, feet come up towards the ceiling, hands either side of the back of the legs, back of the shins, or outer edges of those feet. And we're breathing, drawing the knees down towards the earth. I apologize for the sound. Must be some workers outside. And we're breathing in and out here. Keeping the breath steady. Mm -hmm. You can stay in stillness, rock a little from side to side if that feels good. And then when you're ready, we're taking the feet down towards the floor. Pick the hips up, shift them to the right. Send the left leg long and that right knee comes up and over to the left, right shoulder connected to the earth. Play around with how you like that knee to be. And then the gaze comes over that right shoulder, taking the breath, one breath at a time. Even in this twist, can you find that whole torso breath? When you're ready, the gaze comes to center. The right knee comes to center. Plant the right foot. Left foot comes to meet it, and we're shifting the hips to center and over to the left this time. Left shoulder is in a cactus or a T. Extend that right leg long. Left knee coming up and over to the right, rolling to the outer right hip. Left shoulder is rooted and connected down, and we're breathing. Whole torso breaths here. And stay for as long as you like. Or oh, rolling back onto the back of the pelvis. Feet to the floor, shift your hips back to a central place. From here, if there's any other movements that you'd like to do to finish up your practice, please go ahead. Otherwise, we're taking the time now to come into our relaxation, whatever that means for you. Remembering relaxation doesn't have to be a particular shape. Whatever is comfortable for you is best. And then ease into wherever it is that you've chosen to be for your relaxation. Any extra layers, an eye pillow over your um, eyelids to soften the light. And we'll take a big breath in together. 
Exhale it out. And then I want you to just focus on that ebb and flow of the breath in your body here. The inhale, there's that expansion. The exhale, the softening. Whole torso breaths from your shoulders all the way down to the pelvic floor, front and back, side to side. As if your torso was that expanding balloon on the inhale and deflating on the exhale. So we make sure after all that work that you really have let go of the pelvic floor. And then when you're ready, Allow the breath to settle into its own natural rhythm. We let the body start to release down into the support underneath us as fully and completely as much as you intend or wish. Noticing with a curiosity, without a judgment, if there are some areas that are more challenging to let go of than others. And then also notice the ease of some places that it's really easy to let go of, to relax and to soften. Relaxing the muscles of the face, the shoulders. pelvis, arms and legs, feet and hands, fingers and toes. And then softening the inside body too. Inside of your legs and arms. Inside of your torso, your organs, your bones, inside of your neck and throat, and the inside of your head. And allow the thoughts also to soften here. to unwind and let go as best as you can. And then when you're ready, notice your body as it's resting. And we'll leave it here for today. So taking your hands into any gesture, maybe palms over heart or belly, your hands in a different gesture that suits you. And we'll take a big breath in. Exhale, softening the chin down towards the chest, however you are. And thank yourself for your attention, for your focus on the pelvic floor, bringing all this awareness into your everyday world. What we focus on, we feel. Thank you for practicing with me over the last few weeks.
from my heart to yours. Namaste. In your own time, awaken your body gently 